Hey guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So as you can probably tell by my appearance, I feel like crap. <laughs> Um, I woke up this morning, I slept terribly last night, like it took me forever to get to sleep. I slept so bad and then I just woke up and my nose was dripping and it was disgusting and I've got a cough and this is just not fun, like it, <sighs> like this is the last thing I need right now is to get sick, it's just so frustrating, it's disgusting. Luckily I don't have to do much today, I am just... I'm going to get my nails done finally they look disgusting they're all like chipped and stuff especially this one I'm gonna go get them done and I'm gonna get these monstrosities on my face waxed um, because I can't pluck my eyebrows like I can't do it I have really 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 sensitive sinuses it doesn't take much for them to flare up at all like sometimes if I pull on my hair too hard when I'm brushing it that can make me sneeze have a sneezing attack and just plucking the hairs is just agony for me like I can't even deal with it so I get them waxed I mean it's quicker it's over and done within like a few minutes and they stay away longer so yeah, I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day because I feel like crap and I'm over it already. I've just been like really moody this past week. Like, I don't know, it's probably TMI, but it's probably PMS and I don't know, my skin is just so bad. I'm just so over. <laughs> the last thing I wanted was to get sick on top of everything else. And I've been eating bad because I just feel like crap and I need my comfort food. I'm literally so annoyed because I can't find my fucking shorts. How does a pair of shorts just disappear? Really? Like, oh. I'm off to get my nails done now, so I guess I will talk to you when I'm done. So I'm here now and I'm early because I left early because I didn't, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get a park, but it turns out there was a few parks, so now I'm early and I have about 10 minutes, so I hope they're not running late because I don't really feel like waiting around, so yeah. Um, I'm going to go in now, I probably won't film while I'm in there because that's weird, but you will see me fresh face with eyebrows done and fresh nails, so yeah. So I've finished now, my eyebrows are done, I'm finally not furry. This is cream, not sweat, also, even though it is pretty hot. Got my nails done. They're really, you can't really see it that well on camera, but they're a really pretty neon orange with glitter on top, and I really like them. I was going to go neon pink, but I've already been that colour before, and they were just like, oh, we've got neon orange. I was just like, yeah, man, I'm about that life. So I'm at home now and I'm going to have some lunch because I'm friggin' starving and then I'm going to crawl back into bed and feel sorry for myself because I'm in a terrible mood. Um, but getting my nails done did help a bit, so that was nice. But yeah, I'm um, just going to chill out. So last night I read this book. It is called If I Stay and it's by Gail Foreman. And this book is a whole 200 and nothing pages long, pretty much. And you know like there's a movie based on it so I was thinking oh you know this is gonna be good like a classic love story all that type of stuff and I have to say I didn't really like it that much I mean it was 212 pages 223 pages long pretty much and it just ended like ugh, it really annoys me and there's basically a book after it so you could have put both books into one instead of just ending it like the the way they did like it just it didn't give you any closure at all it was just it was annoying and i feel like it's a money hungry ploy to get more money um for the franchise and I almost don't want to watch the movie because I know it's going to annoy me. I mean, like, okay, it was an alright story. The way it was written was kind of annoying, but it did make me want to keep reading. So if you don't know what the book is about, if you don't want to know any possible spoilers, just maybe skip ahead. But the book is about a girl 
who is in a car accident with her family, her younger brother, two parents, and basically her parents are dead, um, and she goes over to help her brother, but it turns out it's her on the side of the road, so she's essentially a ghost, and nobody can see her, and she's, like, following her body around and all this, and basically it goes from her ghost self back to her history, like, her, like, um memories with her boyfriend her memories with her family her memories with her classical music because she plays a cello and whatever and it was really annoying how it was written but it did make me want to keep reading so like i read really fast okay so i read this book it's 223 pages and i read it in two and a half hours so it was literally like nothing for me to read and it just all happened so quick and it didn't get like i said didn't give any closure at the end and like I don't know like it just seems like it'll be like a really boring movie like it's like I thought he was the boyfriend was going to be able to see her as the ghost and like we chase him after her but he didn't and I mean like it was sad like I did cry in a few bits when the grandparents come in and whatever but I don't know man like I don't know how I feel about it so I'm gonna watch the movie anyway because that's the reason, like, as I seen the movie was up for download, so I downloaded it, and I was like, well, I might as well read that first, and then do a comparison, but yeah, I don't have high hopes, so I'm going to eat my lunch, which is chicken rolls, and I'm going to watch the movie, and I will report back to you on how I feel about it, so yeah. So I was just on Tumblr as I was watching the movie, and I seen a gift set, well, it was just two gifts of Connor Franta and he was crying. And I was just like, oh, why is Bay crying? So I went and watched his new video, which is titled Coming Out. And as you could well imagine, he has just announced that he is gay. And it makes me so sad that he has... That anybody that is gay or lesbian or transsexual or intersex has to come out. Like... You don't have to come out as straight. You, like, it's hard to put my thoughts into words right now, but it just really makes me so bad that he has to announce to his three and a half million subscribers that he's gay, um, like, come out to them. And it's just like, why can't that just, why can't he just be him? Like, you know, why does he have to come out? Like, he's gay. Okay, like, th- he's no different. Like, just because he's attracted to somebody of the same sex it doesn't make him any different so I don't feel like he should have to come out like anybody should have to come out it should just be normal like oh I'm dating this person and this person happens to be of the same sex like it's not a big deal and I just wish that some people would see that because it's just messed up this world is messed up man and I just I just can't deal I feel like chips so I'm gonna go get chips about halfway through the movie and I don't know it's just really boring so I'm gonna go get chips and then come back and eat them and finish the movie so yeah so I'm at home now sorry I didn't vlog I went to go get chips and I accidentally went shopping I have to talk quiet because mum's in the next room but I got this for mum for Christmas and if you don't know what it is it's from Lord of the Rings and it's Aragorn's um pin for his cloak and it's on a necklace so basically I needed a way to gift that that's not in the plastic and so I went to like a jeweler and asked if they could just like give me a necklace box but they couldn't so I just got some black seller crepe paper to put in inside this box because I thought this box was really pretty and then I also got mum this I got her this top it's, it's got like little white bit down the bottom and then a nice pattern so it was it was 40% off so I figured well that's still a pretty cheap present and then the other day I got her this because she's obsessed with Stephen King and then I got my dad because he recently just read The Wolf of Wall Street, so I thought I would give him the follow-up story. So, yeah, that's what I did. And I also got my chips. So the movie just finished, and I don't know, like... I don't know how I feel. (laughs) It was good, I guess. I mean, it was pretty true to the book. 
I mean, they can't exactly leave anything out. It was a fucking 200 page book, like really. I cried in all the same bits that I cried in in the book because I'm a sook and it doesn't take much to make me cry. Especially when it comes to like things like that and like grandparents, like I can't handle when grandparents are upset or die. Um, but yeah, it was, it was all right. Um, it had Chloe Grace Moretz in it. And, like, I don't know how I feel about her. I mean, I liked her in Carrie. I think she played a good part in Carrie, but I don't know. She just gets this weird look on her face sometimes. Like, she doesn't know what's going on, and she just seems, like, too innocent. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do now, to be honest. I'm just not in the mood for anything. Like, I just want to watch more sad movies and just get all this emotion out and just cry. And that's really depressing. Oh, yo yo I would just like to say that I love Chloe so much and I really admire her. I think she's really strong to have gone what she went through and still keep a smile on her face. Like, I love her so much. She's my favourite Kardashian by far. So now I have to go get ice for Mum because apparently I've been allocated to do this thing. And yes, I mean ice is in the drug, not the cold stuff. No, probably if I actually wanted to get ice, all I would have to do is go down the end of my street because they fucking sell it there. So, I'm gonna listen to Loco by Joel Fletcher and Shawnee B. So, I'm just gonna end this vlog here. Today has been a bit of an emotional day for me. Um, I don't know, just dealing with some personal stuff, I guess. Have a lot on my mind and it's that crazy time of year. So yeah, um, I think I'm just going to try and get an early night and try and wake up refreshed tomorrow. But I get to see Bert tomorrow, which should help a little bit. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas. Um, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!